Hey guys, and welcome back to Reign of Kings with Avak and Coffee. Hello, Coffee. I don't think your coffee cares. Doesn't oh, surprise me. Coffee's a bit of a dick. I am going to devour it. <laughs> As you can see, I, however, have been fairly busy while Steve Show has been spending all of his time making coffee that doesn't give a damn about his feelings and just snubs his welcome. I <laughs> have fortified our base. I have been productive. <laughs> Look at this, look at the floor. It's now made of stone. Look at the walls. Yeah. It's made of very, very good stone. Huzzah. <laughs> Studio um, acquired very, very good stone. Yes, and then I turned the very, very good stone into very, very good walls. I need one the only, more. The only issue I've got with the fact that I sat and made coffee there is that that base is probably completely empty, the one that I was looking before. Yes, probably. Uh, see, coffee, that's what it does. Yeah, that's it. It messes with your raids. And for anyone wondering what the phone call was in the last episode, it was actually the president. It was Barack Obama. Yep, he just phoned up, we wanted a chat, and I was like, Barack, piss off mate, I'm trying to record you. Are you, are you fucking kidding me? I was like, what time is it there? And he's like, oh, it's like 4 a.m., I, uh, I was just out clubbing. Just got back and thought I'd give a dear Steve a call. I was like, you inconsiderate whelp. I said that conversation went. Yep. I don't know about you, YouTube, but uh, I feel that that may not have been the truth. I don't know why. Excuse I'm just. I, it's something about the details. They they seemed. I don't know how to say it. Far fetched. I think. <laughs> I, a, a little bit far fetched. I, I I mean, far be it from me to call you a liar, but I think you're a liar, teacher. That's not very nice. I may tell lies, but it doesn't make me a liar. Oh, fair enough. That is, that is that is a, a true fact. I apologise. <laughs> that was actually something. Going back, stories of Stijo's grandmother. Uh, <laughs> that was uh, is she Barack my, Obama. Yes, actually. No, that was something wow. that my grandma used to always like give us out of trouble for when we were kids. It's you don't you don't call someone a liar. They might tell lies, but it doesn't make them a liar. Uh, okay. At this point in time, they are a liar, grandma. Yes, I, I think mama. that is actually what it makes them. <laughs> a good old school grandma is like, yeah, that's it. If you get caught a liar, that's you. Rest of your life, son. That's what you're <laughs> going to be. <laughs> okay, grand. We'll nail your earlobes to the stocks. And then <laughs> you will walk around and everyone will see you've got pierced ears. And everyone knows that anyone with pierced ears is a liar. That's actually <laughs> what they used to do. That's, uh... Well, that, that is genuinely what they used to do. People with PSDs oh, yes, yeah. were known to be liars because that's, you know, the punishment that they get. They get well, I have no PSDs. You sure like, you don't? I don't, actually. Okay. I don't have PSDs, no. My brothers have PSDs and they constantly rip the piss out of them for it. Not because I, I think anything against men with PSDs, but I think against my brothers. <laughs> okay. Any, anyone who's a little brother will just know this. It's like, if you have big brothers, then it is your life's job to annoy the living shit out of them. Steve's just very mean. I don't, am I, I don't know. Okay, I'm a bit of a dick. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, yes, I am, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, okay. Guilty has charged. I am having to move all of these stones around because I uh, padded out the rear of our area a little bit in order to enhance its protective qualities. Come on. Come on. Work with me here. There we go. I was picking up flax. Hold on you. I don't know if this place is still... Oh yeah. Whoever it was that was looting this didn't finish it. There was 750 Maybe they got chased off. Maybe they heard that you were there. I don't want Robert. intimidated them. I will take all of your leather though because I always feel like leather's something that I come to need. <laughs> right, well, <clears throat> we have made a decent bit of progress. Steezer's got a well, it's got a couple of lumber mills. I don't think they're running because I don't think Steezer has refilled them with water and I stole a lot of their water. Oh, no, I, I have not. I didn't steal a lot. I mean, I left them enough to keep running, but. <laughs> Okay, that's that place. Pretty much looted of anything of substantial worth. That was nice of someone to open that up for me. 
Now, the reason why I'm leaving a, a gap here <coughs> for those who are watching on my screen is that... Oh, please, stop. Um, so that I can see where I need to place more stone later on to fortify the area. Oh, that's going to be annoying. There is a plant that is going to respawn in this area. And we'll poke up through the floor. Ah. Uh, not so bothered about the ones that you can get rid of. But it's the ones that you can't get rid of, like the little flowers and stuff, or the grass. Yeah, we, we can we can harvest this one, so it's fine. But there are going to be some that's poking up through the floor. We're just going to have to live with that, I'm afraid. Yeah. That's... One of the issues I have with sky bases, right, you know, like ones that are on stilts even, <clears throat> is that? that they're pretty much impenetrable. Because you can't get up to them. Yeah, because all they do is take away the stairs and then you can't get up to them. Yeah, because you so, can't get to the, cr the crest and you can't build on their land. Yeah, so all that makes me want to do is trebuchet until it dies. Well, you know, I, I, I can understand where you're coming from with that. They're, they're being unsporting. Yeah, as if you're going a to be a dish, shouldn't be able to to, to hover in the in the sky. This is like a medieval world. It's not. That well, it said, does have it's not magic. it does have stilts, but I mean, even then, it's just got like four stilts. Yeah, but it doesn't fall down afterwards. You know, someone could break those stilts and it just stays there. There's nothing yeah. they can do. Yeah, well, one of them is broken. They have a steel crest on it as well. Oh wow. I can see the steel crest. I don't know if it is their steel crest or if that's a steel crest that someone else has placed. Mm, oh no, because you can't place. Yeah, that okay. must be their steel crest. I don't think it is the steel crest for the, the place because I would assume that that's actually up in the place. Yeah. But it makes me want to feel. It makes me feel like. wrecking it. Be my guess. I'm not going to stop you. I don't have the treb. The treb I would. Okay. And enough stuff to make treb ammo. <laughs> <laughs> there are actually quite a many great things that are stopping me from destroying this place, but I appreciate your support. Yeah. There we go. Let's turn all there. of this stone into cobblestones. That way I can fortify the floor a bit. Uh, got some steel there. What have we got in here? I could make myself a crossbow. You could, it's true. Oh, I'd need, I'd need a steel ingot. Oh, was that a guy's Fletcher? <laughs> hmm. I feel like if I'm going to rob anyone, I need to kind of go away from the the planes. Yeah. Yeah, generally people on the planes have got a bit more fortification going on. Otherwise someone else has robbed them. <laughs> I see how that goes. So if I... Ah, there's another floaty base. I just like floaty bases immensely. I am getting that impression, yes. That's why that's why I was so interested in Medieval Engineers when I first saw it. I was like, ah! A game where people can't do ridiculous stuff and get away with it, but unfortunately... Okay, I've actually taken your idea and run with it, and I've used... Iron bars, iron like bar windows to make the uh, bridge. Yeah, does it look good? Yeah, it does actually. Nice. In fact, it looks good enough, and I'm gonna go and make the other four on the other side as well. There's a treb sitting on the beach. Go take it. I'm going to if it's not crested. And it's not. Someone's watching you. Smells like a trap. Oh, you cannot collect this object without security clearance from the owner. Uh, okay. I wonder if these are... I, I don't know about trebs, but I wonder if they're... Um, you can't salvage them, so I wonder if they're actually player-bound. Ah, uh, okay. That's upsetting. Although, I've been able just to steal a... Oh, my voice is breaking. Been, <laughs> been able just to steal a trebuchet because you've got a crest. Mm. It's a bit mean. Yeah. Oh, I can reload it though. Yeah, I really, really like the, those uh, iron windows, that idea of yours, Steejo. Yeah. Very well done. Yeah, you're welcome. Anything in the magazine? Nope. One can only wish. What's in the counter? Wait. Mm. 
Oh, obviously I can't uh, use the counter oh, wait until. Whoop What? I just fired the uh, <laughs> the trebuchet. Uh, there's nothing. In the that was an either. awesome sound. <laughs> I don't know what anyone else says. That was fantastic. Oh, I'm carrying all the iron on me. Let's not do that in case I get killed. I can't even make treb ammo because I would need to have a siege works to make ammo for the treb, so I could actually shoot something. Ah, uh, woe betide me. Poor oh, Steve. He really wants to play with that trebuchet, damn it. I know, all I got to do is reload and shoot it. People are really pathetic on this game about using trebuchets, though they'll like... They'll place it just far enough away from the house that they don't get hit with the splash damage. Right. So that they don't need to worry about aiming it. Oh, but that's surely the most fun part. Yeah, exactly. Like, when we had the we had the big base on top of the hill, oh my god, that's what we should do. We should go on top of a hill and just lay down, like, a platform. Right. For putting the trebuchet and shooting people. Okay. That is honestly the most fun I've had is destroying a base from absolutely miles away with a trebuchet. <laughs> Stecho, you are a very destructive individual, I must say. <laughs> well, in all fairness, the base that I destroyed turned out to have been spawned in by the admin, so. Oh, that was the base, was it? Yeah. Stupid admin. But he's actually a really nice guy as well. Yeah, some people just don't want to have to wait around and do things. Yeah, and when we way. robbed the base, um, there was about eight people in the place. Alright, okay. Anything this? No, that's a steel chest though, so... I'm going to need to climb my way up there somehow. Right, slowly building this place up. It's looking quite nice, I think, right now. We should soon be able to start moving things up onto this area. And uh, then... We can just focus on getting the walls up. And then we will have oh. a second area for our base. That'll be great. That's rubbish. What? Salvage and steel chests, I get oil, charcoal and iron ore. Oh. I'm really impressed that with a pickaxe, uh, with a, a wooden axe, I can get back or, like, I can unsmelt something. That is actually quite impressive. And it's not even the compound that I get, it's not like I'm, I'm picking up steel compound. So I'm not even unsmelting it, I'm unsmelting it and then breaking it down into its constituent parts again. <laughs> well played. It but, looks like it, it, the game is just built so that it'll only ever give you the raw resources raw, that went yeah. into it. So the game is basically just working its way back through the production tree. Which is weird because it gave me one iron, one charcoal and one oil, which is exactly what steel compound is. So no, it is essentially giving me one steel all. compound. You know, it's literally, like I said, it, it might simply be working backwards through the cost to make the thing. Yeah, and, all and, it, you and like if something can be broken down further, it breaks it down further before calculating the, the return. Yeah. Oh, that stag just got stabbed in the eye with my sword. You monster. Hulk. I'm not even going to kill it. I'm just going to leave it with severe corneal damage. Ocular damage. You monster. That's alright, mate. Just put a bandage on it, it'll be fine. Oh, that's true, actually, yeah. It is no. Hey, game logic. If it works in game, it works in real life. Not sure that's how it works, but okay. Yeah, it does. Talking about that, I actually played a game. There was a, an indie game. I don't know if it was made by uh, for a, like Ludum Dare or something like that, but it was essentially Ludum Dare. Lud Ludum Dare. I don't. I don't know. I wish I, there was a way sorry. to rotate where you were about to place an edge block. How do you mean? Like, I'm trying to make it face a very specific direction, but I can't get it to do that. Just move your mouse around? Yeah, but, but once I do, I can't click it because, like, I'm trying to build it into an area that has stone in the way, if that makes sense. Right, okay. No, doesn't. Well, 
basically, when I'm trying to place like an edge block, <laughs> like a a sloped block, I uh -huh. need to to be able to position the the rear against <clears throat> a, a face, and then depending on what quadrant of the face that my cursor is on, will di will dictate the alignment of the edge block. Does that make sense to you? Uh huh. Well, I can't do that if there's a stone at the part of the block, like there's a stone coming up through the block that I'm trying to place it against, so I can't actually mouse over the quadrant that I need to get the slope to face the right way. Right, okay. Oh, it turns out that iron... Um, you know those iron doors that we've got? Yeah. They're actually unpickable. I forgot all about that. What? Yeah, they're unpickable. How? Why? When? Why? Who? They just, they just are. I don't know why, I don't know why. they just are. Oh, fair enough. I think it's because they're like the top tier. I guess that makes sense. Yep. Although there's a base over here that is made out of wood. And it's got iron doors. I was just going to pick through the iron, but I mean... I am dying of thirst right now. Don't do that, I can't. Steve, I've not got anything on me. Oh, you fool. You're going to die, Steve, right? I'll cry at your funeral. I oh, someone's really. treb to their house. I'm sure I was listening to a treb being fired earlier. I kept waiting... Oh, God. I kept waiting for... part of our house to go. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> this is not good. Does eating meat give me water back? Yes, it does. Ha ha. Fantastic. Only ever so slightly, but it still gives me water back. I wonder why this house was trebbed. I wonder if there was any sort of reason, or if it was just, oh, let's go treb a house. Because it looks like it's been built nicely. Ah, uh, this is so annoying. Try and place these things. I wish daylight would come so that I could see berries. That's definitely a part of this game that's going to frustrate me. I've never found any issue with placing blocks. Uh, maybe I'm just doing it wrong, I'm not sure. Perhaps when you get back you can have a look at it for me. Have a go, yeah. This house is nice. Yeah? Yeah. They've just done a nice edging work. Basically on the edge of one of the blocks they've put They've made it so it looks like it's a block rotated by using three different, uh, using three sloped blocks. Right. And it just looks nice. It's just a nice little finisher. Okay, no. And it's a floating base essentially, except it's on nice. Uh, basi basically, it's just a high tower. Okay. The way it looks. But once again, it deserves to be brought down because there's no door. <laughs> Well, to be fair, I mean, I guess that is one of the best ways of making it impregnable, is just deny any one of the means in. But, I mean, like I've just said, freaking the iron doors are unpickable, unpickable, so... But they are smashable. No, well, they've got a breach level, so the oh, walls true. are smashable. That's true, that's so. a very good point, yeah. You make a valid point. I wonder if I can drink werewolf blood. Uh, I imagine you can, though whether you should is an entirely different matter. I'm well, guessing no. I'm dying of thirst, so. I'm still thinking that drinking werewolf blood, not a good idea. Just putting it out there. <laughs> drinking werewolf blood, no. Right, we've got 2,828 lumber. Nice. What are we waiting on with that? Um, no, that's pretty much us. I just need to get home. Fantastic. I'm going to kill this werewolf and try to drink some of its blood. <laughs> See, if you come back a werewolf, I... I'll cry at your funeral. <laughs> because I'll kill you. Yes. 
I'm just going to stuff all of this meat into her chest and... Oh no! The one thing I wanted! No! no. Uh, I ran out of inventory space and destroyed the blood and the heart. <laughs> Fantastic, Steve Joe! Rubbish. Oh, amazing! Oh, it's because I've got a single freaking oil and a single charcoal. Do we still need iron? Because I'm right beside the nodes. Uh, we always need iron, yeah. Right, but I think that's going to do us for this episode, as long as you're not doing anything. No, I'm good. Alrighty, so as always, thanks all for watching. I've been CG, you've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Take care.